Hello and welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Today we are taking a look at the Napoleon and Attila two pack from NECA. Uh, I did this video twice. I started it twice, and both times what happened as soon as I started talking, this is just as an aside, my cat, there's a litter box back there, and he starts sifting through the fucking sand in the litter box. So, and I've noticed that. He's, he's been doing that when I start my videos. Like, I'll start a video, and then I hear sifting, 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 and I got to stop the video away from the stop. So either my cat is an asshole, and he's just fucking with me, or my voice uh, induces some kind of, like, brown noise, like in South Park, where I talk, and I don't know, animals want to shit. So anyway, I just thought I'd mention that, because uh, it's, it's becoming very noticeable. But I digress. Let's go into the Napoleon... And Attila, so, uh, uh, Punk Frogs, they released the, uh, uh, the, the, the two Punk Frogs a few months ago, or a while ago, uh, uh, Genghis and uh, Rasputin, and now they are uh, uh, finishing up with uh, Napoleon and Attila, which is great because my OCD was killing me every time I was looking at, like, just the two frogs, you know, you gotta have the four frogs, so this will now complete... The frogs will take some pictures of all of them uh, uh, together, do some comparisons, and, um, and yeah, uh, is this it for the punk frogs? Uh, can we expect to see punk frogs in disguise? I don't know, but uh, I'm good with these four. He went, did he, I think he went back to the sifting. I, I swear, there's something going on. But anyway, enough uh, animal analysis. Let's uh, open this up and uh, get to the review. We are back. So uh, before I get into the figure, uh, I did want to say that uh, they do come with this nifty little swamp background so you could take some photos with this this thing is kind of neat also i did want to mention that uh, my box came super damaged see right here all this all right somebody in the, uh, either at NECA or in the post office or whoever uh you know wasn't wasn't pleased about these figures and i don't know they stomped them out or something it's a good thing that i'm an out-of-box collector because i don't really care about this so i'll take it it's okay but just know i see everything okay so anyway let's get into the figures right here so you got napoleon and mr attila okay these are fun <laughs> i love the punk frogs every time i see them i want to like i don't know like lay down in a hammock and have like a margarita or something they're just really fun figures and uh, uh the, the the main noticeable difference is obvious uh they their colors on their shirts are inverted so napoleon's got the uh majority is yellow and then uh, attila has the uh, majority is orange and uh, skin tone is different. Um, Napoleon, I think, is uh, darkest skin tone, and then uh, Attila is uh, a little bit lighter. So the hands that you get with them, uh, they do have subtle differences if you want to kind of like swap them out. Uh, and uh, in terms of how they look, I'll take some pictures, but how they look next to the other frogs, I mean, take a look at this. Look how much fun this is, all right? Having all four of them, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna have them fighting my leather head although i am a little annoyed because that leather head his uh his upper jaw head came off i was posing him and i was turning him and then i heard crack and i was like oh god what is that and then it just kind of popped off you can't really see it because it kind of sits on there i don't know if that's happened to anybody but i don't know maybe i'll just take some glue and put it on there or i can actually leave it i mean you don't notice it but it does bug me knowing that if i you know, turn the head too much, that thing can pop right off and I have to pop it on. So anyway, but that's, again, that's a NECA QC thing. Hopefully I don't have that with these guys. So in terms of just articulation, let's just get it over with. It's the, it's the same one they had before. So the head is not super articulated because it's so thick, you know, that it's not really got, doesn't really have a neck. So you can kind of have them look, I don't know, do like a little ball joint, but it'll swivel. It doesn't, it won't go, won't really go directly up. So you can kind of get one of those. Um, the ball joint on the uh, uh, on the shoulders, obviously. Uh, no double joint. God, this thing is. These joints are stuck, man. Uh, no double joint on the um, on the elbow. Um, and is there a bicep uh, swivel? I eh, doesn't seem to be. No, there is. There's a bicep swivel, but man, this is stuck. That shit scares me, man. Uh, then you get a swivel on the wrist, and then you got the hinge on the wrist. Come on, I, you know what? I might just have to heat this thing up, but. Uh, but yeah, uh, in terms of the waist, full rotation on the waist. Um, it looks like he would have an ab crunch, but he doesn't. Um, it doesn't really do anything. But uh, you get the ball joint on the thighs. You do get the double joints on the knees. And then you get the swivel on the rock um, on, the, uh, on the ankle. And they're both 
pretty much the same. So let's get into accessories. Napoleon has, I think, one of the coolest accessories. He's got this whip, but this whip is like just super poseable. I mean, it's all bendable. You can kind of get lots of cool whip things with that. So I do like that. And then he's got this uh, photo album, Punk Frog's photo album. Take a look right there, the memories. And then he's got um, this alternate head. So basically kind of like a, a, a growling, um, I get, I don't know whether this is like a scared face or this is like, let's go into combat face. It's a little unclear. I'm gonna assume it's like, I'm kind of scared um, and less like I'm gritting my teeth ready for combat, but maybe I have that switched up. Then he comes with his adorable little frog, uh, meaning this was him before the mutation. And then he comes with all sorts of hands. He's got, uh, he's got two grabby hands. And then he's got these hands. These are cool. They're kind of like surfs up hands. Um, I don't know another way to describe them. And then uh, a bag full of money. Flipper Frank likes that. Okay. They actually both come with a bag full of money. Um, and then we go to uh, Attila right here. So same uh, articulation, uh, pretty much, not pretty much, same articulation. Then he's got his signature weapon. A flail, okay? I think last time I called it a mace and somebody in the comments was like, hey, stupid, that's a flail. It's a flail, sure, okay. I think they call it a morning star too. I, I sometimes call it a ball and chain, okay? But uh, it's pretty cool. It's got the little chain here. Feels sturdy. I like the little detail here on the uh, on the hilt. I'll take some, some photos. But uh, yeah, pretty cool weapon. And then again, bag of money. I think it's the same bag of money. It's a bag full of money. Uh, and then in terms of the hands, he comes with two fists, okay, regular fists, not holding anything. And then he comes with a thumbs up, and then he comes with another thumbs up, all right? Or it's a hitchhiking hand, whatever. Maybe your frogs are hitchhiking. Then he comes with his little bitty adorable little frog, and then he comes with this smiling head right here, okay? He's all smiles. He's having a good time. So, uh, that's it. Um, uh, Attila, Napoleon, Attila, this completes the punk frogs. And, um, I think this is it for a while on the animation front. Um, I think the next thing up, I want to say, oh, I got my foot soldiers in the mail. So that's cool. So I have more foot soldiers. I reviewed them already, but I'll just kind of army build. But, uh, I think the next thing that's coming up in the animation line is either, if they ship that loop, that loot crate, that uh, uh, that Donny, uh, superhero Donny, forget it, forgetting his name, uh, the Dark Turtle, or if they release um, the uh, uh, b -b 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 the Pizza Monsters, okay? Because those have to be on deck at some point. And what's going on with the SDCC stuff? Where's the news uh, four pack? I mean, if this was SDCC, you would be getting those in hand at San Diego Comic-Con in July, and we still don't have them. So, like, what's going on with that? Are they uh, any news on when they're coming out? Because uh, I do want to open that four-pack and uh, and review that, take a look. That's one that I'm very curious. I got to get my Irma. I got to get uh, Burn. I got to get, you know, I want to take a look at Cat April, see if she's pretty much the same body April, but with a different face. I want to take a look at all that stuff, okay? I don't know where I'm going to put it, but, uh, but yeah, so... Uh, hopefully we get an update on that, and uh, I have a few more reviews coming up. I got a Goliath coming up. I got uh, a Rukusaki Yamato Yoshi 2-pack, and, um, and yeah, I think that's it. So, anyway, successful review, I think. Cat didn't sift through the litter while I was doing it. That's a, always a plus. And, uh, yeah, Napoleon, Attila, uh, and uh, that completes uh, the Punk Frogs. Until some inevitable release, like pro punk frogs in the skies or damaged punk, punk frogs or wherever this line takes us. But uh, I love it so far. I'm going to find a place for them up there. I already know where they're going to go. They're going to be fighting uh, my guy Leatherhead. And that's all I got. Let me know what you guys think about this. Comment, subscribe, drop me a like, all that good stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye. -bye.